Metakoye Oyase. May peace be with each and every one of you. Metakoye Pi, Apetu Kule, Makasi Tomania Hacho Oyate, Hona Hache, Ohina Jipika Hache Oyate, Hena Tokatake Uzani Piktelo. We are at the crossroads. Either be faced with a lot of chaos, disasters, tears from our relatives' eyes, or we can unite spiritually in this global community. We have come here today because man has gone too far. I've come from the Chesapa, the Black Hills of South Dakota. Eche maka aka neche ona kea heche etangu kupi. We have come from the heart of Mother Earth, the Turtle Island. We have a message for the world today. Since 1994, Almost every year, a white buffalo calf stood upon Mother Earth. The first one was in Janesville, Wisconsin. And every year, a white buffalo calf, a white animal, is born somewhere in the whole world. From our ceremonies and the elders who told us that we, the people, have brought that much closer because our lifestyle. The way that we live in a dream. I was on a reservation. I thought I'd never leave the reservation like my uncles, my aunties, speaking Lakota, living in ceremony, going back to the Black Hills, the four seasons of ceremonies. In our ceremonies, when I was at the age of 12 years old, he told me that never to use foul language, never to use, carry a gun which I have never done. In our ceremonies, they told us how to live under the Creator in peace and harmony. Because the tipi, there's three poles, the Lakota, Dakota, Nakota, and we is the sun, Ochimaka is Mother Earth. That Mother Earth is a resource, is a source of life, not a resource. And we know that today, that as we do our ceremonies in that Kasapa, the Black Hills, the abuse of uh, Mother Earth. In our ceremonies, we use that Maniwichoni, the water of life. And today, no, we are doing our ceremonies, but it's affecting our ceremonies today, what is happening in this global com community, that Mother Earth is sick and has a fever. So, I want to say, as I come here, stop the fracking. Stop the KXL. Stop abusing Mother Earth. We must understand that as we go back to our homelands to live in a sustainable way of life. 
that we have to think about our children, our future generation, that Mother Earth is a source of life, not a resource. Thank you very much. Well,